Look, my mom and I are going to head out and run some errands to get some stuff for um, those things. We're gonna try to get some, I guess, command hooks to set them up so it's a little bit more even in my background videos. The dinner I ate at Nate's house yesterday did not bode well with my stomach. Interesting, my mom's trying to get Rudy in his crate. You wanna watch this? Oh, he went! He's never stubborn on camera. Like, he knows that you guys are watching him and he wants to look like a perfect little angel, but trust me, he's not. I am in another car with another person who's my sister. We're going out to run some errands and get some Chick-fil-A to hopefully get this nasty taste out of my mouth. Um, and we might go paint some pottery, but I don't know because my port is kind of sore today and it's obviously using the right hand, so not like ideal. I got this like macchiato thing, guys. Iced coconut milk macchiato decaf. Let's try it. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. That's great. Wow, it tastes really good. Really? Mm-hmm. Excited kind of reminds me of like a mocha frappuccino, but more like milky, which I love. Guess, guess what? Ready? You ready? You're gonna tell them, Rachel? You ready? You ready? We, we forgot, forgot the, the blackguard again! <laughs> every time we go out, literally every time. Every time. You know what? It's Nate's fault. I blame him. Because yeah. he has the extra one in his yeah. car now. Yeah, Nate has extra placard because let's face it, I just love him more. And so. <laughs> Once he goes off to college, you'll have it. So, you know. Yay. August 19th, everybody. High five. I'm going to do a lot of crying. We're in a non handicap space. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world today, though, because my sister's going to have to push me inside anyways because my port is still healing. Um, Are you throwing this away or you're putting it? on this. It's heavenly, but it does have a lot of coffee in it. And even decaf coffee has trace amounts of caffeine. So, my heart rate is like. My sister got this vanilla bean thing. And oh, yeah, we also got cookie straws. Jaws. And we ate them, and they were really good. And overexposure much, camera? Ah, I'll be right back. And so now we're gonna go into Target, which you all know we love. So get ready for a Target montage. There's a sign that says that the Starbucks inside Target opens at seven, but Target opens at eight. <laughs> you're messing up my shot of confusion. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> okay. I made my sister buy me a pillow because my neck can never have enough pillows. And like we don't have one for her car, so I never use one and then my neck hurts afterwards. So. And it's actually designed for kids, but I bought it anyways because I am like the size of a child, so child stuff normally works for me. And look, it's got cute little stars on it. Fabrics. We're at Walmart and my sister is pushing me. I'm wearing my mask, which I'm not required to wear, but I wear it if I walk into somewhere and I feel like allergens in my throat, which I did. Um, so that's why I'm wearing it. It's got the downside of making me like super, super potsy and making my heart rate super, super high. So I don't like to wear it very often, but better than having anaphylaxis. And we're in the fabric section because my sister is going to try and make me a better port pillow. Because the one I have right now is sort of agitating my skin because of the type of fabric it is, because of my mast cells. So here we go, fabric montage. Hey, 
you guys. Once I add my mask to the scar on my chest and being in the wheelchair, I become quite the spectacle. I have a lot of people that give us what we call the pity looks or I get the looks that kind of just say, is she contagious? I think once I have my port access and I'm receiving IV fluids, I'll be even more of a spectacle. So that should be fun. Update on the IV fluids, my cardiologist nurse just called me to double check the dosage and said that hopefully she should get that in today because she wasn't able to get it in yesterday because they had to like have all this paperwork set up and so it took basically all day. But um, that should be done quickly and I'm really hoping it'll be done by the end of this week because my pot is killing me. Now this guy, saw, this guy saw the back of my wheelchair that says this wheelchair is part of my body, respect it. And he asked me, do people actually disrespect your wheelchair? And I said, yeah, all the time. And it's especially surprising when a medical professional does it because you think they know better. And he said that his, his grandson just survived brain cancer and when he's in his chair, like people just grab the chair and move it and it's like, why? That sign stirs up a lot of conversations sometimes and I'm kind of okay with that because I'm always down for raising awareness. Like other fun fact about wheelchairs you might not know is that it's actually really difficult for me to stop my wheelchair suddenly. So if you ever run into someone pushing themselves in their wheelchair and kind of seems like they're being a jerk because they just keep going when you're about to cross the aisle or not being jerks, it's just more difficult for us to stop than it is for you to stop. Believe me. It can even like tear muscles in my shoulders and it's it's pretty risky anyways now we are off to get some ice cream and hopefully cool me down and lower my heart rate because my heart rate is probably like pretty high right now I can feel it a cute little downtown and look we have this church that's old and I have these cute little trees with the moss on them it's just so adorable I was slow pump. who else has a little nook like us Nobody. Ours is the best. Yeah, place. our town has actually been featured in like New York Times as being the most adorable list. It has, like, seriously. For but it was like last year, it was featured as like I think the top five like tourist destinations that you'll never know about. And I had my feet propped up on the dashboard because I was getting some legit dead people feet in Walmart. It was not Where good. Is it purple? What is that? Yeah. It means they basically turn purple from the blood pooling. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. All right, so the home healthcare company just called because the cardiologist put in the paperwork and they're thinking that I'll be able to start everything on Thursday and I'm so excited. And I also talked to the guy and he said I can totally learn to do my own port care. The nurses at Interventional Radiology looked at me like I had three heads when I mentioned that I was gonna do my own port care. And this guy said it's totally normal. It, they like. They teach people to do their own port care all the time. And I'll get to start it on Thursday and I'll feel so much better. My heart rate will be so much better and I'm so excited. I'm really happy too. Yeah, I everybody's so happy. So, I'm so said, excited. I can't wait until we don't have to have an, so much cold air going through us. <laughs> yeah, I just can't wait. And he's really nice. He said that they were gonna run my fluids without a pump, but it's a big thing for me to have a pump because then I can infuse on the go, um, kind of like Chronically Jackie does, uh, which is good because then I can just like, I don't have to be stuck in my house for four hours whenever I'm infusing, which is like a big thing for me. So he's gonna look into getting me a pump yeah, I'm just so excited, you guys. It's gonna be so awesome. You guys ever see this SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob visits Sandy's dome for the first time and discovers that there's no uh, water in here and he can't breathe and he spends like the entire visit literally dying because he can't breathe and doesn't want to tell her? That's me when I'm somewhere and I need to ask for accommodations and I'm like literally dying because I need an accommodation. The face I make like, when they ask me if I'm okay. He just breathed in some air. And he was <laughs> the face I make when they ask me, hey, do you need anything? Nope. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I told Nate that I got good news. You know the good news I just told you guys that you already know. Call from the healthcare company and we're gonna start my fluids on Thursday. That's great, sweet pea. Mm -hmm. Yay! We did it! Only took nine months of dehydration. <laughs> That's great, sweet pea. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I can't wait. Oh, I survived Nate's house. His mom was cleaning with bleach and we didn't really have a heads up. So I had a little bit of a reaction and Rudy alerted. I 
didn't think to get it on video because I had been kind of having the reaction for a bit, but I wasn't sure if it was a reaction. Rudy's alert was a little bit slow. I think the smell of the bleach sort of threw him off because he has actually never smelled bleach before. And then after a while he was like, oh, I recognize that smell and I need to relate to it. So <laughs> he made me take two Benadryl and then um, was pretty insistent about being on my lap until it kicked in. So, But now I'm feeling a little bit better, just sort of benadryl out. That's one thing that's really difficult and kind of a toss of the coin when you come out when like we go over to my house sometimes like I tell them one thing and then they forget to tell me any other things that might cause issues and I'm like it's really hard to think of every little issue uh, that could be that could pose a problem. And so. sometimes it's like for me especially like I made the funny post today about me not wanting to ask for accommodations but it's honestly true. I, a lot of the times, don't want to sit there and be like, oh yeah, your house needs a ramp, and you can't cook red meat, and you can't cook with bleach, and you can't have peppermint oil, or any sort of diffuser running, and you can't use <coughs> strong perfumes or Febreze, and it's like, that's a lot. Uh, I feel kind of bad asking for all of that, so. Well, I hope they're not cooking with bleach, because that probably wouldn't. You know what I mean. can't <laughs> clean with bleach. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy, for once again saving my life. Look at this, look at this life-saving poodle, guys. Check it out. If you don't think this life-saving poodle is the best gosh darn thing you ever did see, then y'all need help. <laughs> look at him. Look at that, Bubba. Look at the nose. Look at the freaking nose. Oh, no, look at <laughs> He's so indelible. And Nate had to leave and go home and do some chores. So I'm just sitting here resting, watching some Fry Life on my phone. I don't know if I, got, if I told you guys this yet, but my computer is healed from the computer doctor and I will be picking it up tomorrow. So this vlog should be edited on my laptop, I believe. Everything goes well, so yay. I just can't wait to get my computer back because <laughs> I really miss it. But um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys later and good night.